Hey everyone, Techni here with a headset review, the HyperX Cloud Flights. Now real quick before we get into this review right here, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsor of this video, the Techni. But what I would like to let you guys know is we now have channel memberships active and it pretty much opens up different community posts, but we have a $1.99 option which is a community post and stuff like that and it's called Supporter. Then we have Supporter Plus which I believe is like a $4.99 option or something like that. You get the extra posts and then you also get 10% off merchandise right there. And talking about the merchandise, I just got these new Techni shirts made right here. I'm focusing on the red shirts. Made the logo a lot bigger, changed out the font, and then I also removed a little uh, YouTube deal right down there which a lot of you have requested. But anyways, this new shirt's pretty nice. It's real soft cotton. It's not like a real heavy uh, t-shirt, you know what I mean? So anyways, I have those on eBay. And again, if you join that, uh, I think it's the $4.99 option, you get 10% off. So make sure you pick up one of those. Anyways, the shirts are stinking awesome here. But anyways, thank you to our sponsor. So all right, as far as the Hyperx Cloud Flights right here, this is an old headset, right? Didn't these come out in like 2018 or something? But I really wanted to cover them here. Number one, you can scoop them up for right around, I believe the day of me doing this review, 95 bucks on Amazon and we're gonna find out are they worth it two years later at 95 bucks so number one in your box you're gonna get your headset you get your little wireless uh, dongle here you get your charging cable you get a 3.5 cable and then your microphone which is detachable you know it feels like a long time since we did a headset review I don't know maybe it's only been a week or two but it feels like a long time to me but just kind of refresh it and to bring it back you all know where we need to start right that is comfort because no matter how good of a deal it is or how fantastic it sounds if it's not cozy we got to take it off so Anyway, straight out the box, putting the headset on your head right here, let me just tell you what, they are incredibly cozy. The clamping force is more or less a medium clamping force. They're not loose, as you see, they're not moving much on me right here, but they're not tight. I'm not getting any pressure points or anything. And the really cool thing about that, as you can see, we have all this swivel, right? They go a little bit forward and then all the way back right there. So they're gonna fit any head shape. I mean, plenty of adjustment right here. Very, very cozy. Now talking on that movement on the ear cup right there, as you saw how we got it swivel all the way out flat if you want to lay it on your chest right there and you got a little pinch going forward but the ear cups also go in and out right here but talking about that swivel as you see right here it is incredibly loose like it just spins and moves right there so I, I don't know is that a good thing or a bad thing I think that have to be personal preference I think swivel swivel and again it just go right on there and form to the shape of your head but some people like to maybe just pinch them a little bit forward be a little bit tighter and kind of hold that position again these things are not going to hold any other position rather than the size of your head right there. Because again, it's so loose, bam, it's gonna form right into your uh, jawline and into the back of the line of your head right there, which I honestly like. Now talking about the ear pads and the headband right here, they are completely pleather. So yes, your ears do get a little spicy in them after a while, but they do lock in the sound very well, which we'll get into talking about the sound here shortly. But as far as the headband and the ear cups, I mean, these things are incredibly soft and plush. Super, super cozy. Again, they're not too soft where they press in and you start feeling that frame pressure on or anything, you know, what I mean and they're not too firm where it's kind of like ah man these ear cushions are just scratchy and uncomfortable they're just right in between right there and again they're completely cozy now as far as the size of the ear cups right here I think they're a fantastic size as far as me they fit right over my ears perfect closure in there and there are plenty plenty of depth within them as well but if you do have bigger ears and you're kind of worried about them touching the inside of the drivers right here there's this really soft foam inside there so again if your ears touch the inside it's not gonna really bother you or scrape you or feel like it's banging against your ear again it's very very soft inside there now going right from comfort going into build right here I think the build is fantastic it is completely plastic besides your little adjustment headband right there now you do it is plastic right there as far as your notch but just the little uh, headband extender right there is metal but the rest of the headset is completely plastic but it's a very very heavy duty plastic it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't flex by any means and that's kind of you can take that here or there you know what I mean when you get that firmer plastic it's almost like uh, you kind of get a little bit more worried about stretching it out like I'd go to this distance right here and that's where I'd stop and that's where I'd be comfortable you know what I mean but you can twist them up plenty of fine and everything again with all that swivel within the ear cup and again you can kind of twist them up no cranking no cranking no nothing like that again they feel incredibly solid and as far as that little wire sticking out right there I think that's just for like aesthetics kind of going along with that other HyperX design how they always have the wire sticking out of their headsets I think they just kind of implement that in there kind of like their signature look but again whenever you spin the headset or anything that wire does not move at all so again I think that's just for looks so you don't got to worry about it I mean it's really firm in there also now going right into the features here on the right ear cup you have your volume wheel and it's fairly soft roll but you do have steps in between 
between it right there. So it's really nice. You can get your precise volume adjustments and everything. Coming over to the left, left ear cup, you have your power button right here. Right below that, you have your 3.5 connection, you have your charge port, and then you have your microphone port right here. Now, as far as turning them on, you just put your USB dongle in whichever console you're on, whether it be PlayStation or the PC. Also, this works on the Switch as well, wirelessly, which I tested across every single device, even on Xbox. But anyways, to turn them on, you just hold down the power button right here, you get a little tone, and then your LEDs will turn on on the ear cups. All right, so talking about the LEDs on the ear cups right here, since we just turned it on, as you see on the box of this headset, it states up to 30 hours. That is actually with the LEDs off. Again, which you control by the simple press of the power button here. Now the headset's not off, just the LEDs are off. And this is how you get 30 hours of battery life with it. Press it once again, and it's gonna turn on, and you're gonna get 13 hours of battery life. Press it again into the breathe mode right here, and it's just gonna pulse like that. You're gonna get 13 hours of battery life. Now the stinker about this, you do have the Ingenuity software right there, which I mean, it's not even worth showing because it's so just basic. You adjust your volume or mic volume and you can mute it. There's nothing else you can do in the software, which is kind of a stinker because it would have been cool to just kind of keep it on a solid right there and just be able to dim it a little bit. But again, how it is, as far as brightness, that's all you get. All right, so now let's go ahead and cover the second most important thing, and that is gonna be sound right here. And again, as I stated before, I test these across every single gaming platform. All right, so first off, I wanna talk about using them wirelessly. And when you use them wirelessly, you get a frequency range of 20 to 20,000. The 20 being your low end, your bass down there, 20,000 being your high end, your treble, right in between there's gonna be your mids, right? So again, use them wirelessly on a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro in my case, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. The sound was fantastic. It was really nice. I play a lot of Call of Duty and it was just very nice and balanced. If I had to say anything, I'd say maybe a little bit bass or mid heavy, kind of in between right there. It's not too much mids where it's drowning everything out. And it's not too much bass where it's just like, you know, rattling your ears or anything like that. It's kind of right in between. It's almost like you have a little bit of that mid and then some of that uh, bass right there just kind of mumbled in together right there. Not saying it's bad by any means, but again, sometimes if I got into that heated moment, like grenades and stuff like that, I kind of got a little bit of mushiness. Uh, again, it wasn't bad by any means, but if there's one thing I had to point out, that would probably be it. But across the board on every single device, again, the Switch, the PlayStation, and PC, the sound was fantastic. Playing games like Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, anything like that, I heard a lot of the footsteps, I got a lot of the immersion and everything. And again, they just sounded fantastic on all those devices wirelessly. Now let's go ahead and talk about them using Wired by the 3.5 right here. And this is is pretty cool as you can see they're on right now so whenever I put the 3.5 right on our connection on the back side there bam they turn off so no you do not need to have them charged or powered on to use them wired you just plug it in it pretty much turns them off and then you can use it that way now you lose uh, control of your volume wheel and stuff like that and your LEDs but again you can just slap them on right there use a 3.5 and you're all set to go and also on 3.5 you get a different frequency range you get 15 to 23,000 so a little bit more low end and a little bit more high end and believe it or not as crazy as this sounds I liked them better running through the 3.5 right here. Now on PlayStation, yes, 3.5, you lose some of that volume as we see a lot with PlayStation headsets. But as far as going Xbox, the Switch, or PC, it honestly sounded a little bit better. Everything, that little bit of kind of mushiness I talked about, that little pinch right there, it eliminated that. It brought your highs out and kind of balanced out the low end right there. And it became a very natural sound right there. And it was honestly fantastic. So I think it's pretty cool that you have, you know, pretty darn good sound wireless, and then you have great sound wired. A lot of headsets, especially wired headsets or wireless headsets we see, you know, whenever you use them wireless, they sound amazing and fantastic. Plug them in 3.5 and it's like, ah, man, I never want to use it that way, you know? And it's pretty cool. This headset's, again, opposite, where it sounds better with the 3.5. Not, not world changing better, but it does sound better. All right, so we are now doing a mic test on a HyperX Cloud Flights right here. The microphone is about two inches from my mouth. And what I got to say about the mic is I think it picks up a little bit too much on the P's and T's. So what I would recommend is maybe just go buy a cheap little windscreen. You'll probably find it for like a buck on Amazon. Slap it on there and you're going to be sound as a pound. I think the mic sounds really natural. I really like it. Very balanced in the highs and then the lows. But my one concern right here is the mute switch. How it's on the left ear right there, which you got to press it in to mute it. You'll get a tone in your ear. Press it again to unmute. You get two tones in your ears. But what I'm kind of curious about, are we going to hear that within the microphone? So I'm going to test it right now. 
All right, so you don't get the tone within the uh, microphone right there, but that initial press, when I go to mute it, you do kind of hear that little scratchiness right within there. So yeah, your buddies will hear that, but again, as far as the tone, they do not hear within each bump. So all in all, I gotta say the microphone is pretty stinking good. Again, get that windscreen and you're gonna be perfect. All right, so all in all, my take on a Hyperx Cloud Flights right here. Again, coming in at that current price of like 95 bucks, let's go on and say an even $100 after your taxes and all that, right? I still think you have a fantastic buy. Great sound, great versatility across all the platforms, a fantastic build. I mean, it looks stinking awesome. Come on, they're black and red. You know, I'm gonna love that. But hey, let me know down in the comments what you think about the Hyperx Cloud Flights. Do you use them and what do you think about them? Are you looking at picking them up? Because again, like I stated, you have my complete recommendation right here. I love them. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope I was helping to help you out and answer some of your questions, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.